LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are future Hall of Famers, but the man shouting orders at them isn't a former All-Star. He isn't a veteran coach with a resume full of titles. He's a former video intern who, at 40 years old, now holds one of the most visible positions in sports. We're one of the youngest coaches in the NBA, and he's in a very great franchise. He's coached a very good team, um, and you know he's the, he's the front man. I, I don't believe that if you'd have asked him years ago you know, where you see your future in five years, he would have said here. If I did have a quiet moment to myself uh, over a pot of coffee, I was thinking about coaching high school. I mean, not to be frank, I was. Uh, maybe thinking about coaching uh, college. Spolstra was raised in Portland, Oregon, where his father worked for the Trailblazers. He played point guard at the University of Portland, then spent two years playing in Germany. But in 1995 came an internship with the Heat that changed everything. It was hardly glamorous. Spolstra worked in a room nicknamed The Dungeon. NBA legend Jack Ramsey, in Miami at the time, watched the then 25-year-old develop. He started out as video coordinator, and I don't think he was the head video coordinator either. But in Riley's game plan, they do a lot of video work. Uh, more of it was fear. Fear of making sure I, I had my edits and job done on time for, for Coach Riley. But then he moved into an assistant coach's position where he was what I call the workout guy. And he would drill players on fundamentals, at practice, before games. Spolstra moved up the ranks in the organization as a scout, as an assistant coach. Then in 2008, when Pat Riley stepped down as head coach, he made Spolstra, then 37, the youngest head coach in the NBA. And he knows you know, how I related to players, and I think he's gleaned uh, a lot of experience from that, but, but also he has his own style, and he is a contemporary, you know, young, very intelligent uh, man who knows his, uh, the X's and O's. And I was fortunate enough to get some lucky breaks uh, to stick around. Pat brought an incredible amount of stability to our franchise. At the time, the Heat had the worst record in the NBA, so a young coach was seen as a good fit. But once James and Chris Bosh joined Wade this summer, doubt echoed through the league. How could a man with no NBA playing experience, no titles on his resume, have any credibility managing a roster of superstars? I'm not uh, naive uh, to the uh, situation, but we can't uh, get away from the task at hand. And I think the best way to, to handle you know, perceived pressure or expectations uh, is just to dig into the job. Things came to a head in late November when James seemed to bump Spolstra on the court amid rumors he was frustrated with his new coach. But instead of buckling, Spolstra sat his superstar down for a heart-to-heart. -heart. More talks came in the following week, something both men credit for solidifying their relationship and for showing why Spolstra was the right guy for the job all along. You know, it's kept us afloat, you know, and, you know, with all the mania that's went on with this team and all the scrutiny that's went on with this team, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't budged. Uh, that's what I told Brian and Christian that came here. I mean, he's going to treat everyone the same. Um, he's going to get everyone their respect. He's going to look them in the face and tell them, you know, the hard things, um, you know, when it comes to this, this is your role. This is what I would expect you to do. And uh, it, takes a, it takes a strong individual to be able to do it. Uh, all of your experiences uh, in your entire life, all these things will push you and drive you. Uh, I've never wanted to be anywhere else uh, than working for this uh, organization.